Top Secret is a 1984 American action comedy film written and directed by Jim Abrahams, David Zucker, and Jerry Zucker. In the film, an American rock and roll singer is invited to a cultural festival in East Germany in order to distract from a plot to destroy NATO submarines, but he accidentally becomes involved in a resistance plot to rescue an imprisoned scientist. Plot Nick Rivers, played by Val Kilmer, an American rock star, Skeet Surfin, travels to East Germany, which is represented in the movie as like Hitler's regime, to perform at a cultural festival, which secretly serves the East German government as a diversion for a military operation with the intent of reuniting Germany under their rule. Why are we stopped here? This isn't the Howard Johnson's. At a dinner, Nick encounters Hillary Flamond, played by Lucy Gutteridge, a member of the local resistance movement who is attempting to avoid the authorities. He pretends to be her date to get to know her and performs an impromptu song and dance, Tutti Frutti, mistakenly thinking he was asked to do so, to the delight of Hillary and the diners, but to the annoyance of General Streck, played by Jeremy Kemp, the mastermind of the reunification plot. I'd have known I was staying at the Howard Johnson's. But who did this? Never mind about that. We've got to rescue your father before it's too late. Nick later sees Hillary at a ballet, where she expects to rendezvous with the resistance leader, but is met by the police instead. Nick saves her, and they try to escape, but Nick turns himself in so that Hillary can get away. He is taken to a prison where he is questioned and tortured. I can't believe I'm back in school. But he knows nothing and does not break. Thank God. In an escape attempt, he ends up in the secret prison lab of Dr. Paul Flamond, played by Michael Gao, a brilliant scientist developing the Polaris Naval Mine, a device that can destroy the entire NATO submarine fleet as part of the government's plot the East Germans force him to work by threatening to kill his daughter, Hillary. Nick is recaptured and scheduled for execution. The East Germans decide that Nick must perform to avoid an international incident, and he does so to the rapturous joy of the local girls. How silly can you get? Spend this night with me. I found a little romance. She I pray there'll come a day when by my side you'll stay. And you, you will always be a love that's so many. You set my heart on fire. It's burning with desire. Your touch. He is rescued by Hillary at the end of his performance. They run into a park, and Hillary tells Nick something about her past and what happened to her father. Since she tried to find him, she also shows Nick a photo, and Nick knows he saw Paul Flamond yesterday in the prison. It's Dr. Flamond. I saw him yesterday in Flurgendorf Prison. After which, they spend the night in the loft of a Swedish bookstore. <laughs> Hillary tells Nick again about her past, when she and Nigel stranded on an island as youths. 
This not only provided us with a safe haven from the rain, but sheltered us from the relentless Santa Ana winds, which would periodically ravage the island. The years... Then Nick plays for her, Are You Lonesome Tonight? And they make love. The next morning, they are moved to the potato farm, where they meet members of the French Resistance, led by Nigel the Torch, played by Christopher Villiers, who was Hillary's lover from when they were stranded on an island as youths. It is you. Oh, my darling Hillary. Nick is upset by Hillary's love for Nigel, but accepts that they must work together for the cause. After fighting off an attack by the East Germans, who were tipped off by a mystery trader, they move to a pizza restaurant where Nick proves his identity by performing for the locals Straighten Out the Rug song. And there's nobody I'd rather strain than we The resistance group stages a rescue of Dr. Flamand, where Nigel and Duquois, played by Harry Ditson, a resistance leader, dress up in a fake cow outfit to disable the prison's defenses. What's the hurry? Why was in such a bloody rush? While the other members successfully infiltrate the prison, Nigel reveals himself as the traitor. Dr. Flamand is rescued, but Nigel makes off with Hillary, and Nick is forced to rescue her in an underwater bar fight. With their flight about to leave, Hillary chooses to go with Nick and her father to America. I'll miss you most of all, Scarecrow. About the film, Top Secret was written and directed by Jim Abrahams, David Zucker, and Jerry Zucker. The casting of Top Secret includes Val Kilmer, Lucy Gutteridge, Christopher Villiers, and Harry Ditson. Top Secret was filmed in various locations in the United Kingdom and West Germany. The production team aimed to recreate the look and feel of classic Hollywood musicals and spy films. The soundtrack of Top Secret features a mix of original songs and parodies of popular songs. The music plays a crucial role in the film's comedic elements, blending musical and spy genres seamlessly the film was released on June 8, 1984, in the United States. The film had an estimated budget of around $8 million. The film was considered a box office bomb, though it earned $20 million. Top Secret received mixed reviews upon its initial release. While some critics appreciated its zany humor and clever parodies, others found the humor too absurd. Over time, it has gained a reputation as a cult classic particularly among fans of slapstick comedy and those who appreciate its unique blend of genres. It is often cited as one of the standout spoof films of the 1980s. 10 Interesting Facts About Top Secret 1. Top Secret marks Val Kilmer's feature film debut. 2. The film pays homage to various classic films, including Elvis Presley musicals and World War II spy movies. 3. The songs that Val Kilmer sings in the film are actually performed by Val Kilmer himself and were featured on the film's soundtrack released in 1984, 
under Kilmer's character's name, Nick Rivers. 4. When Nick Rivers is in jail, a headshot of Cher can be clearly seen on the wall of the cell several times. Val Kilmer was dating Cher at the time. 5. The black conductor calling for tickets in ostensible German is actually reciting the old Yiddish saying, May you grow like an onion with the head in the ground. Six. As referenced in the soundtrack credits, the song played as the East German National Anthem is a lightly modified version of the Shorewood, Wisconsin High School March. Seven. Val Kilmer earned himself a diving certificate by filming the underwater scene. Eight, the scene in which Lucy Gutteridge looks down from the balcony onto the street to see hamsters and mice was in fact a miniature from Superman, 1978. Nine, the scene where Hillary and Nick go into the Swedish bookstore was staged, shot, and then run backward. 10, the scene when Nick Rivers drives a motorcycle is clearly a homage to Steve McQueen in Great Escape, 1963. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more interesting videos and don't forget to press like button and share.